just started the recording. Do all need a recap of what happened last time? Uh, we are tasked by the leader of the of Greymore to do tasks. Trials, actually. Yes. You appeal to her for help in fighting the artifact. She says she'll give you permission to, to look for it if you complete the trials. But as a uh, uh, extra measure, um, Cortana has been has disappeared from your group. And you have no idea what is happening to her right now. But as of right now, the guards have led you to this residential area for you to spend the night. And from your time in the walking up you had to like climb, walk up a, a giant tree branch to get into this small um, housing area amongst the leaves. So let it cool for a bit. Everyone, that was my Auntie G. Giving me. Giving Hi, Auntie. Me, yep, giving me a nice hot Hello. apple pie. <laughs> Those who look at Hold here note will notice that he is a little unsettled. Not a big fan of heights. Doll, we aren't meant to be in trees. I'm heavy. I plummet. Plummet. Elves are light. They they belong in the trees. I take that as both a compliment and an insult. Well, you're not the one who, who you're not the one roiling with muscles, are you? Unless you count the brain, which is the biggest muscle within the human body. And also, BRB, I will let somebody else take the stage because my mother is trying to get my attention, despite knowing what time it is. So anything you want to do while in in this room? Not at the moment. Oh, they're going to go uh, sit down somewhere. Get his nerves from being up in a tree. Yep, you find a table area that's laid out like a dining table. Um, a sitting area with uh, what looks to be uh, two um, cabinets. One full of books and the other one filled with 
what looks to be like um, board games, um, um, coloring books, and a couple of figurines. Can you please come down the volume from your phone? I'm also in the middle of a session. And hello there, Dragon. Isn't it? Thank you. You miss eerie silence. That's almost the Hi. weight of what happened, as well as the somber feel of of the situation has hit you all harder than us a, a cement block. You hear a knock at the door. Oh, would you mind getting that? Sure, no problem. Yes? You open the door and you see what looks to be a woman with, um, Pale, uh, pink hair, um, clothes that, um, have a similar style as what Cortana had, except it's, like, in a deep purple, and it seems a little more regal. Can I help you? Yes, I've been told that... You were the ones that were with my sister. Oh, uh, you were Aerith, your Aerith's, your sister was Aerith. Yes, my sister is Aerith, and I heard a rumor that she was hiding in town, but with you lot and with white hair, I was hoping. Oh, well, it's, uh, well, it's, it's kind of complicated. I. She don't know how to put it. She kind of barges her way in to take a look around, and not seeing Aerith, her face turns to a scowl. So it is true then. She's been arrested. She's been arrested by the queen herself. The, the truth of the matter is, 
Uh, there was, from what we were told, Aerith was involved with a cult that involved uh, creatures called the Canari. And one of them tried to help her, but somehow Aerith's, somehow Aerith died and the Canari took over her body. I, I don't know how to, for the moment, I don't know how to put it any, any more. I, I don't want to gloss over it, but your sister's no, I don't think your sister's no longer of this world. I'm sorry. You look at her and you can tell there's an anger in her eyes, but there's also a sadness too. And one that is a bit of almost relief. It is good to finally know that we had months of worrying where she could be. Now that we have an answer, it's not a good one. If I ever see that girl in Canary or whatever, I don't know what I'll do. What she is, she's done to my sister. And what's your name? Uh, oh, you were asking me, or asking uh, th th her her name? Um, she's asking you. Oh, uh, yes. Uh, my name's. Uh, is is this some sort of? Well, before I answer, this. Is this some sort of rule of the Feywild that we're not supposed to give our names, but... I, I've been you're, told about that, that... You're fine here. In Greymoor, we don't obey... We don't pr practice any of the Feywild's magic rules or speculation or whatever. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. Just just trying to be careful. Yes, uh, I'm Nalrumac. Oh. That's a good name. I'm Makoto. And yes, we have magic here that shields us from Feywild magic. Though my sister keeps escaping out here, here to explore the Feywild magic, but that's her choice. And now I, I miss that. You see the the cat flying over and giving Makoto a bit of a nudge. You miss it too, don't you, Aslan? And before you can we get a spelling on both names, please. When you said the cat's name, I was thinking about the lion from Narnia. Yes. Oh. I don't know Narnia, so I have no idea what you're talking about. Yes. My sister has a love of all creatures, both mortal and fey, and even a bit of celestial at times. This little kitty. So mom and I will remember her by now. Thank you a lot. Tell me this. Did my sister at least go in peace? I wouldn't know. We... We didn't legitimately meet her. We only met the one... The, the, the one who inhabits her body now, Cortana. We met her from the very beginning. 
the whole mess that happened between <sighs> Aerith and well, uh, Cortana inhabiting Aerith's body that happened long before we met her. Yes. So we don't know the circumstances of how it happened. I'm sorry. From what I remember her telling a while ago. Sorry, I don't like being in threes. Dwarves aren't meant to be in threes. <laughs> but anyway, I remember her telling us that before Aerith died, she begged Cortana to take over, to live amongst us. You can start to see tears forming in Makoto's eyes. She was too kind for this world. That has always been her fault. She's just been too kind. Is it a folly to be kind? It is. is it weakness? To be kind to others? To lend a hand? To, uh, to others who are in need. It is if hey. you're being taken advantage of. Now my sister is gone and replaced by this body snatcher. Most of Greymore wasn't wants her a, choice. Most of Greymore now wants her head for what she's done. Do you realize that this is what Aerith wanted to, 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 to some, to, to show her that what life is like for mortals? How would you know? That, You've never met Aerith. True, but going by what we were told, I'm willing to believe that's what she would believe. hear another knock at the door as oh, you see right. this woman at the door. Am I interrupting anything? Uh, nothing, well, it was a bit serious, but I can assume that you've come to give us details about the trials, am I correct? Yes, as she said, as she holds a piece of part, a piece of parchment in her hand, and she looks at her lips. And says, Makoto, what are you doing here? Uh, they, they were the last people who saw Aerith, but turns out they didn't. And I just want an answer. I know. We all do. But as of right now, she. She is being judged, and we'll see what the, the outcome is at the end of that. But what if she, she gets guilty? She'll never be able to. Right now, all that matters is them taking the trials tomorrow. And then maybe we'll hold a memorial service for Aerith. Now, let them get to last. Okay. Ash. As Makoto reaches out to take um, a um, Allison, um, the cat scratch scratches her and flies away back to you know. Um, what are you doing? I need to take you home. Uh, otherwise, mo mother will worry again and. be there for Aerith, okay? When she comes out. You need to be there waiting at home for Aerith when she comes out. The cat shakes her head and um, Pearl um, Pearl's at um, you know. Fine! Do you want to go back to these people? Fine! As you see tears and runs away. As you can see, we're pretty sensitive around here when it comes to 
data isso. Here, she places the uh, parchment paper on the table. Read this. Decide amongst yourselves which trial trials you undertake, and we'll be back tomorrow morning to pick you all up. And she leaves. And you all gather around. read this. Are the two gone? Yes, the two of them are gone. That was actually enough right asking in character, though, but thank you. <laughs> Sorry. You're fine, you're fine, you're fine. <laughs> I, I left. Good, because everything the sister said about Cortana slash Aerith... I wanted to do something that was not safe for Quinn. You wanted, I could have just walked away. You could have, but you wouldn't have, because we know you. Right. Anyway, about the trials. So we have five tests. And each one of us has to be in at least one... I would suggest that Nephrite does the test of intelligence, as the puzzle is most likely going to be something that she can help figure out. Mm, not sure about the test of memory. I can do either the ad adaptation or resilience. I would think resilience might be for Holnir. Uh, Possibly. Um, we have tests of resolve. the test of memory to another puzzle. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that one. I, For Null, I'd probably go with Adaptation or Resolve. Oh, it wasn't specific on what kind of test to Resolve is. Yeah. I guess. Since, uh, it's, a... it's been left for like for a reason. Yeah. Uh, if I was to guess, it would simply be test of determination to stick it out. That is the case, Hunt. That's not... yeah. I, that would that would be my first choice, but adaptation is still up in the air. So, here's what I'm going through my head, so that way you, you all can finally get a glimpse of what I'm seeing. For intelligence, if it is majority puzzles, that could fall between either myself or Alish because. It could, for the puzzles, they could be riddles. You're better at it than I am. <laughs> You've been able to solve solve more puzzle riddles than I 
salt there in that price. For the test of adaptation, again, is a two is a twin cost twin cost twin coin why do I keep on saying twin? Coin toss. Gosh darn it, somebody clip this when the episode gets released. <laughs> For adaptation, it is a coin toss between, again, a liege or a null, since both of you have different avenues when it comes down to combat. Null, you're strictly with magic, or no, you're strictly with melee combat, but you can get your way out of sticky situations with magic. A liege, you're more orientated with magic, but you can't get yourself out of sticky situations when it comes down to range attacks. We have five tests and five people. So which one do we want to have Quinn try? It needs to be in one. If I may suggest for, for Honeo, how about the test of resilience? That's that exactly what I was going for. Yeah, that's been suggested. So we have my suggestion for a test of intelligence was Neprite. Uh, resilience Here for... He is resilience for Holnir. Holnir. At least three to be decided upon. Uh, well, you, you did make a good point about the uh, adaptation, and I'm willing to take that. Okay, so... That leaves Make that two. Of test of memory, which is another puzzle, which I guess I'm going to be stuck with. And then the test of resolve would be left for me. We need at least three successes to gain pardon more successes for free movement around Draymore and five to hopefully win the freedom of Cortana assistance from the Queen so we need to get five out of five if we're going to have any real chance of getting to the artifact. No offense, people. I'm not that confident as to memory for me. I have a decent memory, but it's only about. I'll be perfectly honest. Yep, yeah, but like like Nephrite said, you pro you're probably better at solving the puzzles. So uh, solving the. Ten riddles and stuff so more likely you go you know switch your trials and it might work well okay i can i can try the test of intelligence oh well wait till uh sound wave comes back and we'll confirm that serious vibes from that test of resolve. Be good or bad? Uh, you don't want to know. Unless you've watched Naruto. The original. Mm -hmm. Then you might remember Ibiki Morino. It could it's been just a long be time. A, it could just be a trick, a complete and utter test. I mean, test of resolve that that means nothing. Just a, a resolve to do what? Oh, I remember that now. Don't say anything. 
Oh, I won't. Yeah, considering that a lot of us don't really watch Naruto. Or it's been a long time since any of us, some of us have watched it, so anyways. Still, though, it is a good guess, Jovial. So, uh, so Nefra, uh, we we kind of did a quick switch around. We're thinking intelligence for a liege, adaptation for Null, memory memory for Nephrite, resilience for Holnir, and resolve for Quinn. I forgot I was muted. That makes sense. Are so gonna switch uh, Nephrite into liege? Are we all agreed upon for that? Aye. Yep. Yep. All right. So all we can do is just our best and if we can get enough successes to move forward. Okay, then. Let's go ahead and sign. The sooner we get all this done, the sooner we can get Cortana back, and the sooner we can find this godforsaken artifact. Agreed. what it's looking like. We were all agreed. So we can go ahead and sign it and wait for them to return and pick it up. situation we will be facing. I do not know if I should try to change any of my spells. So without a reason to do so, I'm going to stick with what I have. The less the less I change things in the a while, the less less chance of something being affected. Agreed. I'm gonna keep the same spells that I have so that way if somebody comes out of their respective battles a bit worse for wears, at least I can heal them. They, they allow that. It's best to be prepared for the best and start hoping for the worst. I don't know about you four, but I just want to get this over with. Yeah. 
if we gain her approval and we get free reign out of here, we get free reign across Greymoor. I'm fine with that, yeah. but I'm not leaving here without Cortana. Now that's the question is like if we if we can get the artifact but we can't take our Cortana, do we forsake the quest and just hope the world survives? She's giving us that option right now with these trials. If we find the if we find the artifact but can't kick Cortana, don't have to bite that bullet and find a way to get her out on our own terms. But if we can't find the artifact, then she's pretty much damning the mortal plane, which is the same plane that she needs her scouts on. Well, like she cares I said, about like tradition. Said, she doesn't care about everybody else. Right, and she cares about her people and her traditions. Like I told her, being in the Feywild after the real world has been conquered will not protect them for very long. But they don't want to look that far ahead because that's an ugly truth. And it seems that I'm one of the few people that can look at the ugly truth. So far, you, uh, as my companion, to manage to also stand by me. So it is appreciated. So at least we'll find a. Find the document in the appropriate slot, pass it around to everybody else. All right. Yeah, if we fail, you know, if we fail, then the world is just doomed. We've done everything that we can. I'm not going to fight this queen, much less the entirety of the city, simply because they want to bury their heads in the sand. All right. And as you all sign your names, then what trials do you want to overtake? You suddenly see the uh, piece of parchment poof um, out of sight. It makes the things a, a lot easier. So, no? now we wait for morning. See you all in the morning. So all of you are going to go to bed? Yep. against the plant while your new friend Echo is um, on the table. Um, you place them on the table. Oh. Oh, you left Echo. I got him. Sorry about that. It's okay. Hey, Echo. Do you want to sleep in the tree, or do you want to sleep with one of us? Us! In the tree? Us! Okay, let's get you in the tree. And Nephrite will 
place Echo up on one of the branches to sleep. Oh, one of us. One of us. She'll take Echo to sleep with her. And while she's passing by the living room area, she's just gonna roll her eyes looking at Quinn sleep on the couch knowing that there is a flipping bed back here for him. Sorry, I thought that was a I thought that was a bed. My bad. It's a city, which is basically a couch. I said I was sorry. No, no, no. I'm, I'm not mad. I'm just explaining what that is. And Nefra, you hear a, a voice come in from the side. You would think a child would learn by now. And you look up and realize that it's Zuri talking to you. We would, we should, we could, but we've done enough shoulda, woulda, couldas to make a stick. I'm giving up. I want to, but I'm at that point. <laughs> I'm gonna look at me. I said the first thing I thought I would ever say. Sure. That's right. Well, you know you can always confide to me, right? You've been my best friend ever since you built me. Oh. Sorry, I've taken as much of this opportunity as I can since, well, you still haven't built me a voice box yet. Thanks for reminding me. That's going to be the first thing I do when we get back home. I know you can only say so much and do so much, and I appreciate it. <laughs> and this is the first time I hear what you can sound like, and <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm happy too. I'm happy 
<laughs> and I can frankly talk to you on the same level. I'm happy that you can rely on me so much. I am happy. Whenever I say you happy, yes, I. I don't want to give up. But my body is starting to quit on me because of all this stress. I know. And I've seen you pull out, pull in through all nighters. I have seen you lift the heaviest things for the great things you create. will get through this because you're not alone you have me you have your family that's waiting for you and you've got some pretty good friends here I needed to hear that together like we've always had you know you can you know you can ask me for anything anything that's got you down anything that got that has you worried you can always confide in me can I ask you to do one thing tomorrow Protect me from my trial. I want you to protect Tonir. I know he's a heavy hitter, but I don't know what he'll be against. If anything happens, protect him. If you can't protect Tonir, protect a leash. You know how much I love him. Did you say... You said it. Yep, you. I said it. <laughs> With you and the gods of my witness, I love him. He may not catch on to it. He notices, but he can't catch on to it. Him for you till, till you know this. Just it just takes time. definition program into my brain, but I see great things for you. You're gonna go far. And I can't wait to see it. Thank you. And I know in the morning I'm not gonna be able to hear you anymore, but I'm glad to finally have a conversation with you. Too. Now, if you make me the voice box, do you think you can make me sound sound like you know, like Argonite? It's got a pretty funny voice. <laughs> I'll try. I can't promise an exact voice, but I'll try. Kind of slightly put out, don't. No said anything about what I posted. 
I can say is no. No, no, I don't want to. <laughs> Yo quiero Taco Bell. <laughs> no, she'll no, she'll put in the voice box like um, trinket when Vex was high. No, if I need to annoy everybody in this group, I will give him the voice of Baleen. Season one, Baleen. Oh, Welcome to the show. Actually, that, vo that voice wasn't that bad, actually. It was a beast on Josh's voice, and I know Cat can't do a high pitched voice because it's not going to pick up on the wrong. It's not going to pick up. Yeah, I know, I know. Like, I can do. I can pretty much do a high pitched voice. But Romeo, no! <laughs> oh my god. Stop it. Okay, no, moving on, moving on, moving on. Uh, as she says those words, she falls asleep. As you all do, eventually. 